Well, this really is something else. I uh, have never had three fish of this caliber in such quick succession on a spinner, no less, and on the opener. This is turning out to be a banner day. So this is not the lake, one of the lakes we're going to be fishing for the opener this weekend, but this is another um, local brook trout lake, and um, still have a pretty good cover of ice out there. You can see it's pretty dark right here along the shore, water's up really high, um, you know, past all these trees here, but... Uh, it uh, doesn't look like there's really any open pockets of water out there. Now the one thing is this area where this lake's located did have more snow over the last few weeks um, than where we're headed. So hopefully that's a good thing. But um, it's definitely going to be interesting what we find this weekend where we're headed. Because if we do... <laughs> if we do drive out and find conditions like this, we are probably going to have to move to a different plan. So we'll see. It's the Monday before the trout opener, and uh, huh. I'm actually pretty well organized here. Just my, my, the rest of my house is a mess. Um, so I'm bringing two rods. I kind of wanted to bring my fly rod, but the way I have my kayak set up with the rod holders and I'm gonna have a GoPro mounted and probably be carrying rain gear and stuff with me. I just don't think it's gonna be a good idea this time around, so. This is uh, this is um, a rod I'm bringing for my buddy who's coming. So this this one here um, doesn't really matter, but this is my ultralight. This is a little Shimano. It's like five ten maybe, or five and a half feet. Five and a half. Um, this has really light action on it. Really, I mean you can see that that rod tip bouncing right now. I have this Lake Clear Wobbler. It's a brand new one, orange and glow. I love these things. These are some of the best things I've used to catch uh, brook trout. I'll show you the rest of the ones I have here. So I'm kind of building up a bit of a collection here. Um, so that one is just the standard original it's um they have numbers on them it's a number one which is like three and an eighth inches long and i forget what the weight is um they're a pretty lightweight spoon this is a kind of a hammered silver and gold um what else this gold with that red tape on it it's like a nice brook trail color this is the og my fire tiger i love this one it's losing some of its luster but still works and this one actually has been surprisingly good um you can see the paint's kind of peeling on it a bit but this silver and blue has been great this is a new one i got last year this is a size five it's really tiny and actually the one um Retired broodstock fish I caught last year, 14 and a half inches. That one was caught on, on this guy. And I think, I think I was trolling with a, just a little worm, like a piece of a, a, a worm. I do have some deeper running ones too. These are a little heavier, three fifths of an ounce. Um, this one has a glowing edge. 
and kind of some red and chartreuse mixed in. This has been a really good one. Uh, the orange and silver deep running. These only run, the deep ones probably run, oh, instead of like three feet down, they're probably more like five, maybe six feet down, depending on how fast you troll them. This is a new one I got for this year. I think it's called Candy Ice. Just looks cool. Um, really trying to move away from bait this year. So on this trolling rig, I have this little, it's considered a fly, but it's basically just a little rubber uh, worm imitator thing. Um, it's got a little bead head on it. So that's going to be my trolling rig. I have some other um, things to troll with too. These little Rapalas. I don't even know what size these are. Um, they're tiny though. This is like a J5 maybe, the jointed one. I swapped out. I'm kind of at the point where I I really want to make sure I handle the fish well when I catch it. And so I swapped out the treble hooks for just a single um, octopus hook here. But I have that one. I have a couple other colors um, somewhere. I don't know where they are right now. Excited to try these out. My buddy DC got me these. He's coming with on the trip. Um, if I can untangle it here. But it's a, um, it's like a blue fox spinner, but it has a little kind of a crankbait looking thing built into it. So that's a brown trout pattern. There's a fire tiger one. And I got some new spinners I'm excited to try out too. Um, spinners are always a good choice. These are some number one uh, blue fox. I have a couple of mechs in there too. Things a little bit tangled up. And you know, just casting a bobber with some kind of worm imitator or minnow imitator might be good too. I have these also from the Lake Clear company that makes the wobblers. These are called a gang troll. Um, people use these for lake trout as well. Sometimes cowbells are what they ca are called. These, um, I haven't had as much luck with these, but if trolling turns out to be the ticket this year, then I might give those another try. I have some small jigs, split shot. Um, that's probably the extent of what I'm going to use. Um, I do have some other nymphs and wet flies here so i have another one of those kind of rubbery worms um i got some new woolly buggers here in purple got some black ones um kind of excited about this as a possible trolling fly but it might be a little bit flamboyant for uh what the water conditions are going to be like i think we're going to be like just after ice out so some of these other um like nymphs and um like worm imitators, I think will be good. This will be my main casting setup. There's that other crankbait. So this is the Blue Steel Rapala um, F5 maybe. It's really little, it's like an inch and a half long. Same thing, I took off the front hook and put a little blade on there and then put it just a single hook on the back. Um, this one, it's a six foot medium action. Abu Garcia, um, kind of overkill, but I got this rod. It actually came with a, a, a bait caster reel, but it was set up. I didn't look close at it when I bought it because it was a really good deal. It was on clearance, and it actually turned out that it was set up for um, right hand retrieve. So I used it to troll a couple times, but I just I didn't care for the bait casting reel. This is so much faster. It's what I'm used to and comfortable with. So I put a just a little spinning reel on there and that's my setup otherwise I'm running just uh, I think a six pound test on this one my leaders are four pound test fluorocarbon um, that's really all you need I don't really want to run anything heavier I don't know if fluorocarbon is going to be absolutely necessary but I'd rather err on the side of being um, less visible than more visible so that's my setup it's supposed to rain um, 
pretty good chance of rain here, so I think think things might get a little wet, but that doesn't bother me. We'll be prepared. All right, we're getting somewhere. At least we have stuff we're actually gonna need this weekend. Look at all these butane canisters I have. One thing is I'm gonna need, I need a new net. This is my old net. Actually, I think I got this as a gift like the year I started fishing, 2015. Um, but I'm gonna need a second one. And I had one of those nice, like, clear landing, like, catch and release landing nets, they call them. Obviously, they're not always for catch and release. Um, and I have no idea where it is. Probably at a lake somewhere. But it was just a Walmart one, so I think that's what I'll get again. Got my little folding saw. Some first aid stuff. Little hatchet. And... The old coal bin. Well, I'd like to tell you I went to my local sporting goods store, fly shop for all this, but I did not. I went to Walmart. Needed a little cooler to pack in. 1288. Just in case we end up keeping some fish, fillet them, throw them in some Ziploc bags on ice. What V? V came with me. She thought this net would make a cool hat. This is this is the one I had last year. I really like this. You can get them at Walmart for 20 bucks. Um, you're, uh, I find that when you, you get a fish in the net, it, it doesn't nearly get tangled up as much as like some of the mesh nets. Picked up a new Frog Togs rain suit. Um, it's kind of like this, like almost a, a reusable shopping bag material kind of a windproof material so I had one before years ago loved it kept me warm and dry um, and the pants ripped so got a new one I'm excited to wear it So we're going to check out some of these lakes we're hoping to fish tomorrow, but uh, the uh, the turnoff here, it's uh, got a fair amount of snow on it and also looks pretty narrow, so we're going to take a hike down here and see what we find. Alright, we made it to our first lake we're hoping to fish tomorrow. A little unsure sure about driving in there were some snowy pockets but here we are with open water just a little bit of ice lingering along the edges oh am I getting excited
There we go. Finally found our way in. Um, through many obstacles, still we persevered. DC is right here, and Cly is leading the charge to the cabin. Just as night is about to fall, and hopefully our friend Mike doesn't get lost. All right, kind of put on more miles hiking tonight than we wanted, so I think it's time for an old-fashioned. Eve of the Trout Opener 2023. Here we are in the cabin, trying to stay warm. Just kidding. It's pretty nice out right now. We're wearing shorts out on the deck. You can't see a thing because it's dark out. Oh, there's the railing. There's DC. I don't want to show the name of the cabin. Hoping Mike finds his way out here. It's, uh, eh, it's not too long after he said he thought he'd be here, so we'll wait for him. Give me some words of advice here, Kyle. Come on, you're a new grad. What are your words of inspiration for us? Oh, okay. Thank you, anyway. Back one time, and I got up to Green Bay, and I I was I was like like in I think Swamico. I'm going I'm going like 70 miles an hour on on the highway, and my back end starts sliding out on me, and so I got control, and then I I slowed down a, a hair, but I'm like going on the highway and in four wheel drive. And then finally, I was still sliding, so then I was like, well, I guess I'll slow down now. One of my friends was like, that seems like the logical order of events. First, you try to pull the drive, and that doesn't work, then you slide down. Oh, first brookie of the 2023 season. Cute little guy. All right, our first good size fish of the 2023 season. All right, <laughs> brookie number two. This is a beautiful fish. I'm gonna guess he's about 13 inches, maybe more. This is just turning out to be an incredible spot so far. Right here by this ice edge, shallow sandy bottom. And this little blue fox, candy ice, bright orange blade. All right, this is what it's all about. Just look at that fish. Well, this really is something else. I uh, have never had three fish of this caliber in such quick succession on a spinner, no less, and on the opener. This is turning out to be a banner day. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Uh, wind's moving around up in the clouds and uh, it's a little chilly but down here on the lake it's not bad at all. So I had one about 10 inches a few minutes ago. I let him go. Um, if I would have kept that one this guy would be my limit. So this is my fourth keeper. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, healthy brook trout. Caught on a, this time, a number zero mat spinner. All right, well, I got four fish, all good size. Um, I think the smallest is probably close to 12 inches, maybe 11, 12, and the biggest is 13-ish. Um, 
sounds like uh, Cly Guy had a nice one on and lost it along with his lure and did the same thing a second time so hopefully the third time's a charm for him um, Mike took command of my um, my rod that had the, the spinner on it that was the most successful so far so um, and he had one small one too on uh, like some scented power bait stuff just a little guy um, so it's been a pretty eventful time on the water so far we got some guys shore fishing but they're uh, they're on the other side of the lake so everything's good um, turning out to be a really really good opener and uh, in terms of numbers and size my best opener to date so I'm happy about that Kyle, nature's one of the neatest things on this planet. So if you want to do that, let me know. I just tie a little swivelly thing and then some clear line. The other thing is you gotta watch because the swivelly thing can get sucked into that. Took us longer than intended, but we saw more of You guys are good. Jalapeno or smoked? They have made more than eight. That's two for everybody. Yeah, four more, so we can eat chest two. Wait a minute. I mean, they're edible, they're warm. I would just want you to they feel a little. Do you want them to just raw the package? Yeah. I would guess it's like this. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Access, getting out on it might be tricky. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually want to go there.
Well, it's Sunday the 30th, day after the opener, and uh, we had a rainy night at the cabin, but uh, made it through without getting uh, too wet or too hot inside the cabin. The uh, wood stove kept things pretty toasty in there. Um, we had the door and the windows open a lot. It was nice though. We uh, kind of had a leisurely morning. Cooked some breakfast, cleaned up, made a couple trips up to the truck, and uh, the other guys took off now, so it uh, was supposed to be raining, but as you can see, that bright light behind me, its uh, the sun's actually peeking out right now. So I'm hitting up the same lake we started on yesterday where I cut the four, and uh, hitting it up for a second round here before I go home. So, trout season's in full swing. Someone's got a boat stashed over there. Just had a follow on this number zero spinner. Oops, stitch on. It's <laughs> a good one. Oh, fell off, oh no. That was a good one too. Just a subtle little color change. That's what did it. I'm gonna have to move my phone because it's sitting on top of my net. I'm trying to record this though. They'll hit it again. Oh, a oh, little one. Just a little guy. <laughs> They're so feisty. Even though, even though it's a size zero spinner, it's uh, too big of a meal for you, bud. All right, let's get you back in the agua. Oh, he just got one of the, just one of the hooks in his mouth, not all three. Okay, let's see if we can hook into that big one again. I don't know if it's bigger than anything I caught yesterday. That 13 and a half inch yesterday was fat. So it felt like a bigger fish than it was. Oh, here's something. Yeah, it's doing head shakes, look at this. Oh, he's gonna run. <laughs> I don't know if I can get him without my net. We're gonna try for the sake of the video. This is mute. Got him. Got him in the boat. Let's see if I can flip this. Well, here. There he is. He's probably 12 to 13. Look at those colors. Holy crap. All right, I'll shut my phone off now. <laughs> this one would be my third keeper of the morning here. I'm going to release him, though. He's got to be right about that minimum size 10-inch mark, so... Alright, bye bye buddy, thanks. Well, saying goodbye to the opener weekend. It's been my best opener ever um, in terms of size of fish and numbers of fish. And so I came back to this same lake we fished yesterday morning and um, just was throwing spinners in real shallow water, probably three feet um, to five feet and there's still a little bit of ice left um, on the far side of the lake here and uh, and so I kept two today one's about 12 and a half inches and the, the bigger of the two is about 14 so off to a really good start 
This lake has really been excellent and uh, hoping to come back here again for the opener next year. It's kind of a drive from home, so I don't know if I'll visit it again this year. Um, but really nice to find a lake like this, uh, especially when it's new to me and find these kind of fish. Um, again, these are stocked lakes. They're put and take fisheries. So um, it's nice to keep some once in a while. You know, when I get on the smaller streams in the summer, um, mostly going to be catch and release but right now it's nice to have some some really nice uh, brook trout fillets so it's been an excellent weekend finally time to head home really could use a hot shower right about now and uh, it'd be nice to have some fresh fish for dinner too